Peter Berg. I don't know how you do it, my friend. But man, you sure know how to direct based on true story movies. Oh, man. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Patriot's Day. Patriot's Day is the third Peter Berg, Mark Wahlberg collaboration. Their first film was Lone Survivor, their second film was Deepwater Horizon, and now they have their third collaboration, Patriot's Day. And the film, as I said right now, it is directed by Peter Berg. The film does star Mark Wahlberg, Michelle Monaghan, John Goodman, Kevin Bacon, Alex Wolf, Melissa Bill Noyce, a whole lot of talented people here and Patriots Day tells the true story of the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing when two terrorists decide to bomb the Boston Marathon and so after that tragic event we now see what happens after that tragic event where Mark Wahlberg and everyone else are now out for the biggest manhunt to go ahead and get these terrorists. So Patriot's Day is a film I was truly excited for and knowing Peter Berg's history with these based on true story movies, Lone Survivor, it's one of the best war films I've ever seen. That movie was so powerful. Deepwater Horizon I thought was a great film as well. I do think what Peter Berg did with Deepwater Horizon was truly something. And I could definitely say three times the charm because Patriot's Day is such a respectful telling of a tragic event that happened back in April of 2013. The way he tells it, although yes, it is very, very hard to watch, he also did it in a very respectful manner. Something I loved about Patriot's Day is, even though yes, what we are experiencing is a harsh time, in American history. It's also a beautiful movie at the same time about how people come together, how love conquers all, even in the worst of times. And that's thanks to Peter Berg's excellent direction. This is one of the best directed movies of 2016. Peter Berg made this film absolutely realistic. The way this film would be shot felt absolutely realistic. And something I even noticed that Peter Berg used in this film, he kind of used the shaky cam style that Paul Greengrass would use in his movies. Although you could still see what's going on. It's not shaky cam where you can't see anything. The shaky cam in this film actually never ever got distracting because it did fit for the kind of story that Peter Berg was telling and it was never distracting because I'm still able to see what's going on and it kind of reminded me of Captain Phillips a film I really love from Paul Greengrass because even though that film was shaky you know that was a based on true story that Paul Greengrass had to tell and his shaky cam style for that movie actually worked and I have to say that kind of shaky cam style that Peter Berg would use in some moments of Patriot's Day was so powerful the cinematography is beautiful the way the film would use these shots where you see characters walking through cameras that was used very well and not to mention the music the the score in this film is haunting and I mean absolutely haunting because of how scary certain situations would be because the first 20 minutes they're introducing all these characters. You know, you're getting introduced to Mark Wahlberg, you're getting introduced to J.K. Simmons, you're getting introduced to John Goodman, you're getting introduced to Michelle Monaghan, this Chinese guy, you're getting introduced to so many characters. But I have to say, from the moment the Boston Marathon bombing scene happened to the very end of the movie, my heart was pounding. I was shaking. And the performances from Erwan were so good. Mark Wahlberg, to no surprise, gives yet another excellent, excellent performance. There's even one scene in particular where once Mark Wahlberg comes home after everything that happened at that Boston Marathon, his performance in that one scene alone almost had me tearing up to be honest. J.K. Simmons, he had a great 
great character arc. Well, this is based on a true story, but just the way he portrays this man was truly great. John Goodman's really good here. I really liked him. It's John Goodman, so that's no surprise. Kevin Bacon's great here. Michelle Monaghan, while not in this film a whole lot, she is really good in this film. And honestly, everyone else was really good here. Melissa Bill Noyes, you know, Supergirl from the Supergirl TV show, which I actually really like. And she's been in films like Whiplash and The Longest Ride. She's really good here. And I also thought that Alex Wolf, who plays one of the brothers, you know, one of the terrorists of the Boston bombing, he did a really good job. Same with the older brother. Everyone's honestly really great in Patriot's Day. Everyone really gives it their all in this film. And you could tell from the actors' performances that they were very passionate. So many people have sacrificed their lives to save these people from the Boston Marathon, get them to the hospital, and on top of it all off, going on this huge manhunt. So many people dedicated their lives and to see how it all goes down it honestly makes you appreciate life more. And I think that's what Peterberg does a very good job at. Whenever you walk out of these movies, he just makes you appreciate life more. He just gives you that, man, I am so happy to be alive kind of feeling. And if, if a director like that can make you feel that way, you know you've done a successful job of being a filmmaker. Honestly, if I were to just say maybe just a few flaws with Patriot's Day, a couple of times they try to add humor in between dramatic moments and it didn't work, but that was just like maybe two times to be honest. I also will say that I didn't care for a couple of characters' interactions, but it was understandable on why they had to do that though. And I will say the are there more bombs scene, I'm not going to say any more than that. You guys know which scene I'm talking about. I did find the are there more bombs seem to be a little silly so overall you guys this is another excellent film from peter berg this film has amazing cinematography amazing direction amazing writing with phenomenal performances a phenomenal score some of the most intense moments i've seen in a long time it is one of the best movies of 2016 and that is why patriot's day is the seventh 2016 movie, I am giving four out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Patriot's Day. And since we have had three movies where director Peter Berg and actor Mark Wahlberg have collaborated, what is the best movie in this trilogy of their collaboration in your opinion? Lone Survivor, Deepwater Horizon, or Patriot's Day? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!